Today we are at Daiso's flagship store in Ikebuku and we're gonna check it out and see how it compares to the normal Daiso's. Ooh, yay! We get Sanyin. <laughs> we get Sanyin to spend, don't we? All right, this thing is huge. Let's check it out. Walking into Daiso's flagship store, you get an overwhelming sense of the scope and size of the place. Becca, do you have any plans of how you want to spend Saint Yen? Uh, nope. Do you, Sarah? There's a pet area in this one? Daiso is one of Japan's most famous hyakuen, that's 100 yen stores. And here is the biggest one, so I'm interested to see what they have here that they don't have at others. It's like a maze. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's so many bags here. Yeah, I know, huh? Cool. We kick things off looking for our favorite items to see what they have. Of course, found the notebooks. Oh boy. I need a small notebook so I can carry it in my purse and I can put all my questions that I have about Japanese. And when I find my friends, I can answer them. Sarah loves her pens, huh? <laughs> I can have a cocky sandwich. I can have a cocky sandwich. Oh, you sure could. That would help you, wouldn't it? What'd you find, Becca? Spaghetti. I like drawing with hands, and it goes to it, so there's in between. Nice. Things seem normal at first, but we're about to be surprised, particularly by two additional mini stores they have inside. And it is busy today. You'd hardly know this is a huge store given the amount of people in the aisles. Before we get to the new stuff, the kids lead us right to what they want to see, the toys. Whoa, dude. Someone help me find a bouncy ball. Ooh. A bouncy ball? Oh, they found bouncy balls. Fun, fun. You have a thousand yen, so if that's what you want to use it on, of course. There's one up top too, look. Ooh, yeah, I can get That one's got a big one in it. I'm making a collection. This is a thing that's so light. Yeah. The twins even found something they wanted. Wait, it's holding it. Look at that. Are you guys going to get that? Yes. Yeah, it's a in. But I'm making like a bouncy really? ball collection. Good. This is my voice. Oh, my. Like, this is FYI. I'm so We had to consult the map to see where we might find food for Sarah's lizard, if there was any. It's over here still. We have food. Okay. You're like right in the middle. With our bearing straight, we set off to the far side of the store. Ruth began to see more things that piqued her interest as well. Now we're getting some useful home stuff here. Oh, cute little mitts. Oh, Ruth's getting warmed up now. Just threw this away. And it goes in. Whoa, a Daiso knife. How much is it, Sarah? That's kind of crazy, isn't it? You'd be creepy if you hold that. Never buy this. <laughs> you would be creepy holding that. But this one Unless you're actually using it to chop meat. Most 100 yen shops are small and packed into a relatively small area. Until now, the biggest one we had been to was in Shinyurigaoka. But because that one is laid out on a rectangular grid, it feels a bit easier to find your way around. Still, this Daiso is impressive. This is definitely impressive. I mean, you can get every type of container known to mankind. The other ones don't have all that variety, do they? Oh, pet and garden. Oh boy. Sarah's looking for lizard food. They certainly have food for all normal kinds of pets. No lizard food though. Oh, it's a garden bee. Hello, bee. Like the kids love all these garden animals. I'll be the lady. Too. Those are fun. As the girls came back with the spoils from their latest expedition, Ruth soon found something that would be her next project. I want to buy some pots, but they leak water, you know? How much are they? Oh, amazing. But then I need a, something to put under them. Collect the water. And so the search was on, and in this Daiso, there is more than one place where you can find good options, but looking for all those options would lead us through the maze of the store, and eventually to some of the greatest finds, the mini stores. I think this would take half a day just to walk through and peruse everything. So much stuff. Even Coke merchandise, how about that? 
Coke must be getting famous. Coke must be getting famous, huh? I think they got famous already. I wonder how many people like it. I like it. We can do it. That looks weird. It's square on it, yeah. Walking through the immense amount of kitchenware and home goods, I couldn't help but to get the sense of walking through Tokyo's kitchenware capital, Kapabashi Dori, an area with scores of stores all dedicated to some niche of kitchenware. But then I had to stop and remind myself that this is a 100 yen store. It's almost like Kapabashi Dori. No, it's not bad. When shopping with the family, there's only a small amount of time you get before the kids get bored and want to be done. Ruth says when the happy thoughts run out. But just as that started to happen, another discovery recharged their happy thoughts. What'd you find, Joshua? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Becca, is this the fan you used in Brazil? Yeah. It is, huh? I thought it was. It's like this is an actress. Yeah, that's nice. Dan sure helped us in Brazil, but soon Ruth found something to help us on our upcoming trip. One of these is great for putting like our passports in for our trip, because I have a big one that I carry with all the kids. They're perfect to have. And they're see-through, so I can see what's in them. That's nice. All right, our bag is filling up. Oh, see, so this is like, a brand new section. It's kind of expensive. It's kind of nice. I don't really walk through it yet. In Japan, there's all kinds of inexpensive store chains, and we've done a number of videos on them and what makes them unique. But then there are step-up stores like 3P, which offer nicer quality things for a little bit more. Their motto, 300 yen and happy. So this stuff is a little more expensive, but not much. It's like, how much, Anna? Or Sambiaco. I might just not use all my money and use my money for a chocolate milk ice cream. Oh, well, you could certainly do that. <laughs> Getting a lot of people in and out of these stores to buy things is what keeps these stores growing strong. But with the recent devaluing of the yen, it has become even more difficult for these stores to create a large enough margin for business. The solution? Well, big flagship stores to draw customers and more expensive step-up stores like 3 P. So this store is interesting because it's like a mini Daiso in the Daiso, but nicer stuff. So if you don't see what you like out there, you might find it here, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice, Sarah. But Ruth was about to find her favorite mini store of all. Well, this is interesting. This is called Standard Products. Each store has a unique feel and unique products. This one catering to a slightly different angle. So this is interesting. What is this like? I want to be Nitori. I want to be Nitori? Goodness, but how cool. Mommy, can we get a lot of clothing? I don't know. You like that color? I don't know. There's other clothes. <laughs> a rug for her room? What do you have, Anna? Giraffe. Are you getting that? This giraffe doesn't know what her name is. Oh, you have to give it a name. Owie? You're gonna call him Owie? No. <laughs> oh, maybe. For that. Oh. That almost matches perfectly. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? But I do like that better than the black. Oh, that's a hundred. Oh, that looks nice. Not as good as that new hair cool one, though. Daiso's main idea behind standard products is to offer a lineup of coordinated offerings. Oh, no, it's hot. Mama Chun found exactly what she wants, and it matches the best. Oh, might be getting some for dishes. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that just says brownie and ice cream all over it. Oh. It's cool for the Daiso flagship. In one store, you can find a hodgepodge of inexpensive goods, a curated collection, and a more expensive collection of fun things. Oh, more options. Whoa. Oh, uh oh. I like this color right here. Whoa, look at that. I'm getting this kick. Wow. And Joshua's staying cool. Look, this looks like the one with the cake. Daddy took over holding because it's getting heavy and Mama still has some shopping to do. I think you need to put that giraffe away. He's very angry. There's more over here. Oh my. What are we going to do now? Oh. Okay, I'm just going to stop now. I'm stopping. You're stopping. For now. For now. When you hear that, you're not actually completely done, only almost done. 
and then I'd like a flowering one in the middle and then two always greens on the side, you know? You're gonna get some of these or? Not sure. Not sure. It's very interesting. I'm gonna put a guy in and look for it. Okay, waiting on the plants. Okay, let's go. Let's go means let's start heading towards the checkout. And if we see anything cool, we will stop. Sarah, for your lizard or for bugs? Oh my goodness. So do you want one? Yeah. Oh boy, Sarah. I'm buying it, go for it. Oh. But it wasn't just Sarah coming across some last moment items. Ruth found her disposables. Here we go. I like to make banana bread and stuff to give away. That's right. Two of those. Going in our ever filling basket. These are always nice because they're airtight. I mean, we have to win. It's nice. Especially good for like putting all your baking powder and baking soda in. But I want them to all match. Ruth found the kitchen stuff and now she's buying. Now it's time. These are always the best. Do not buy these because gunk will get in there. You want to buy one stop. The gunkless kind. Gunkless kind. This, that, this, good. Well, their kitchen area is worth coming to. Let me tell you what. And they're, ooh, I need one of these for when I make me food. Really like that expensive little area. Yeah, that was cool. With the kids and their puppets starting to go a little crazy, we really had to make our way to the checkout line for our final purchases. Going to the cashier with our full basket. Okay, checkout. Here we go. Ooh, nice. English. In Japan, you need to buy shopping bags if you want them, and sometimes knowing what you need is a trick. Just one? Self-checkout has become the new thing to do in Japan, as it cuts down on overall store costs. But it doesn't come without some challenges for the customer. Please scan your items. I am. We're scanning them. We're scanning them. There we go. It's a little tricky with multiple scans, isn't it? My receipt's gonna be so long. <laughs> Hopefully, we get our parking validated. Yeah, I don't know if they do. Getting near the bottom. And last, the big bug box. The grand total for our trip, 6,057 yet. All right, loaded up. Good news was we spent enough to get our parking validated for an hour and a half, very nice. We got the big bag. Aw, look at you guys waiting so patiently, taking a little nap while standing. Okay, come back, come back. And this time, we <laughs> stayed there the whole time. Wow, good job. This took forever. Did you spend like We spent over 5,000 yen. 2,000 dollars, right? 6,000? Okay, so what did we think here? Oh, this dice was definitely worth coming to. It's got a lot of good stuff. I could spend all day, but I only spent one hour. Was it too big? It's a little big because there's like things in different spaces, so you kind of get a little confused. It'd be worth coming back during the week. It would be. There's a lot we could check out too next time. Food. All the food stuff. Oh my goodness. It's so big. Joshua, let's see your fan. Oh my goodness. After getting home, I was treated to a special presentation from the Rider Kids, or I should say, the kids' puppets. <laughs> Yeah. Mama Chen, you have a good spot there, huh? I do. I've napped almost already. <laughs> Here is... What's the name of the show? Not Telling You. <laughs> okay. Not Telling You Show. Hello! So, today we're going to give Daddy a special, special show. Freedom was something I never found. Trying to find six feet on the ground. I was a dead man. Hello! Welcome to Joke Corner! I want to show you some jokes. Knock knock. Elder! Who? Who who? You sound like an owl. Knock knock. Who's there? Boo! Boo hoo! Oh, why are you crying, Bunny? <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? I am. 
I am him. You don't know who you are? You <laughs> are the My turn! What's the best thing about Switzerland? Switzerland. A place in this world. Do you know what it is? What? I don't know, but the flag is a big plus. Do you have any favorite products from discount stores? For me, I think my favorite were these puppets, but I'm a bit biased when it comes to watching puppet shows my kids produce. If you like this life in Japan, then you can show your support by subscribing to the channel. And if you have any good jokes to add to the puppet show, well, let us know Yay. in the comments. Have you heard the kidnapping at school? What? It was crazy. It's okay, you woke up.